Dan så tog jag ut dem till Lillian, Cryer, Munjau, Sigason, Manka, Bissemoyapi och Nemitu Nettikovin. My name is Lillian um, Gadwa Cryer and my spirit name is uh, Rainbow Dancer. I hail from uh, Kihiwan Cree Nation. The story that I've heard in regards to why it is a healing dance is because a grandfather was tending to his granddaughter who was ill at that time. And grandfather was praying, grandfather was smudging, and grandfather was watching over the, the little granddaughter. And one of his, um, he, as he went to sleep, he, he dreamt. He dreamt of a, a, a dress and he dreamt of a healing dance. It came to him in his dream and he was told how to make this dress. And he was told the type of songs that uh, they sang uh, for this dance. Next morning when he woke up, he shared the dream with his wife and his wife set out to make um, that dress. And lo and behold, when that dress was done, the dancing, the singing was happening. The, the sound of the cones woke up this young girl from her sleep and it awakened the spirit probably. The spirit was awakened and she got up and she started to, to move to the cone. She really enjoyed, she was hearing the sound and she enjoyed how the cones were sounding and thus she started to dance. And this is how she, she became um, healed was because of the, uh, the dream the grandfather had. The significance is that it, is, it has healing powers. And if you have that, that faith, uh, faith in the jingle dress, it's going to uh, do exactly what you pray for when you're dancing. And that's important to have too, is uh, the faith in what you do, is what we say in uh, the Cree language. Jingle dress dancers wear the jingle dress, which is the red part of this outfit here. And they also wear uh, beaded accessories. And beaded accessories can start with the headband. And it has the braid ties and the choker. And it also has moccasins and leggings. And if you want to get fancier, you could also have the, uh, the wrists, uh, the wristlets that they have. 